Hey guys, welcome to my channel Miss Recap. In ancient times, when necromancers waged war against all living things, the human empire and dragons joined forces to defeat them. However, after the victory, the new emperor began to envy the power of the mythical creatures, so he began to hunt them down and imprison them. One day, after doing business with Diao, Master Lan and his men found an orphan baby crying alone behind a cart and decided to take her to their town. The whole way, the baby kept crying, leaving Master Lan completely stunned by all the noise. Upon arriving at his final destination, the man hands the baby over to Mrs. Lao Ma and the elderly woman sees the name Ping written on the child's necklace. Meanwhile, Diao arrives in his village to find his mother in her last moments. She suffers from a rare disease that still has no cure, so she knows her days are numbered, to the woman's misfortune. Diao has also been infected by the same disease, but he promises himself that he will find a cure, because he doesn't want to end up like his mother. Years have passed and Ping has become completely obsessed with the dragons that live in the village. According to her mother, they are Master Lan's guests of honor. Every morning, Ping has the same routine and, after feeding the chickens, she collects the eggs to deliver to her master. Her best friend is a little pet mouse who lives hidden away in the barn. After saying goodbye to the little guy, Ping takes her eggs and walks back home without realizing that Wa Wa has decided to go after her. When she sees Mrs. Lao Ma carrying a basket full of food to deliver to the master, the girl is upset, but her mother has already accepted her fate as a simple servant and says that this is her job. Before the woman leaves, Wa Wa hides in her basket to accompany her while Ping stays at home to do the housework. On the way to Lan's castle, Lao Ma ends up falling and knocking over the basket, arousing the wrath of the tyrant master. Seeing her mother about to be punished, Ping decides to intervene and says she will take the products to the castle. Although she is still very small, the girl manages to accomplish the task and takes the basket to the entrance of the dungeon. Just then, Ping realizes that her pet rat has followed her, but before she can catch it, Lan dumps the food in the underground cell. In doing so, he purposely throws Wa Wa into the dragon cage and, in trying to help him, Ping is expelled from the palace. However, instead of leaving, the young woman decides to hide in the castle and, when Master Lan returns to his chambers, she uses a rope to descend into the dungeon. During the fall, Ping ends up cutting her hand, but quickly finds her little friend. Just then, the pair of dragons approach and Lu Yu uses an energy sphere to heal the wound. After this kind gesture, Ping realizes that these creatures are not a threat and enlists Danzi's help to return to the top. Since she was a baby, the young girl has been taught that dragons are honored guests of Master Lan, so she doesn't even suspect that they aren't there of their own free will. That night, when she returns home, Ping dreams of a beautiful painting on the wall and the images catch her eye. Suddenly, a beautiful sphere of blue energy appears before her eyes and she decides to follow it until she reaches a lake. Just then, Lu Yu approaches and Ping discovers that the blue sphere is actually an egg called Kai. According to the dragon, her baby is ready to be born, but for this to happen, the egg needs to be bathed in the waters of the lake in the dragon kingdom so that the shell can dissolve. Just before the dream comes to an end, Ping discovers that it was no coincidence that she was found by Master Lan, as her destiny is to save those dragons. During the night, the young woman wakes up to an earthquake and notices that her necklace is glowing. When asked about the reason for the tremor, Mrs. Lao Ma says that one of the guests of honor has just been eliminated. At that moment, Ping gets up and runs out of the house, then sees beams of blue light coming from inside the castle. When he realizes what has happened, Master Lan sends his men there to collect the dragon's body and then the group starts slicing up the animal to sell its pieces. When faced with that frightening scene, Ping begins to cry and realizes that she has to do something to save them. The next morning, Master Diao and his soldiers from the Imperial Palace arrive in town and Mrs. Lao Ma orders her granddaughter to serve them tea. Before entering the room, the young woman sees Master Lan being arrested, as the Emperor suspects him of being involved in the dragon's elimination. So he sends Master Diao to take his place and Ping has to serve him. At that moment, the man realizes that there is a mouse hidden among the cookies and tries to burn it with the hot tea, but is interrupted by Ping. Seeing Wa Wa in danger, the girl accidentally shoots a beam of blue light from her hands and manages to save her friend. When he discovers that the girl has special powers, Diao decides to take her to Danzi's presence and orders Ping to convince the dragon to accompany them. To verify his theory, the man threatens to eliminate the young woman and Danzi immediately appears to protect her. At this point, Diao discovers that Ping is a dragon keeper, so he decides to use her as a prisoner to force the dragon to cooperate with his army. Seeing the animal in danger, Ping becomes furious and accidentally releases a burst of energy that sends everyone around her away. Just as the soldiers were about to close the cage, 
Danzi manages to escape and climbs over the wall to deliver his egg to the girl. After doing so, the animal is pulled back down and Ping runs away so that Diao doesn't have the chance to steal that egg. In an attempt to prevent her from escaping, the man sends a poisonous insect to bite her. However, just as the young woman is about to perish, Kai manages to cure her and Danzi breaks free. Seeing the dragon approaching, Diao throws Ping over the cliff, but Danzi manages to save her. When the creature returns to retrieve its child, Quan pierces one of its wings with an arrow and orders Diao to hand over the egg. Since he can no longer fly, Danzi ends up falling into a river and takes Ping to the bank. When she wakes up, the young woman discovers that she can communicate with the dragon and is relieved when she realizes that Wa Wa is fine. Now that she's free, all the girl wants to do is go back to get her mother. But upon hearing this, Danzi is furious, as he needs the dragon keeper's help to get his egg back. So Ping decides to go to Chang'an to save Kai and promises herself that, after the mission, she will return to find her mother. During the journey, the young woman takes the opportunity to ask a few questions and asks what that blue light coming out of her body is. At this point, Danzi reveals that the light is called Shi, a powerful spiritual energy that exists in all living beings, but only a few chosen humans are able to master it. After a few hours of walking, the pair reach a rope bridge and Ping decides to cross first. However, when the young woman is halfway across, Danzi starts walking over the bridge and the ropes break. Immediately, the dragon spreads its wings to try to fly, but the wound on its wing prevents it from doing so. Luckily, during the fall, the pair manage to hold on and, when the rope breaks in half, Ping uses her she to splice it. Minutes later, Danzi and the girl manage to reach the top. At this point, Ping learns that the accident was planned because the dragon wanted to teach her how to use her powers. After the lesson, the young woman and her friend take another path and cross a stone bridge. At dusk, they find a hut and decide to stop for a rest. While warming herself in front of the fire, Ping sews up the wound on Danzi's wing and takes the opportunity to take revenge for the fright the dragon gave her that day. When the sun rises the next day, Captain Quan and his men arrive at the Emperor's palace and Diao accompanies him to deliver the dragon egg, known as the Pearl of Longevity. When he touches it, the Emperor instantly regains his health and Diao realizes that he can also be healed. However, for this to happen, he needs to be alone with the Pearl, which won't be an easy task. To find out how to do this, Diao decides to go to a cave full of insects where he carries out his darkest experiments. When he gets there, the man finds Wang Chao working on his personal project and claims that he will soon become a god. What Diao doesn't realize is that the old man is also a dragon keeper and has just received a message from Danzi. At this very moment, the dragon and the girl are on top of a hill a few kilometers away from Chang'an. The quickest way to get there is via the waterfall, so Danzi decides to dive in and invades a cave that leads to Wu Qing. While walking through the temple, Danzi tells the story of how men and dragons came together in the past to fight the necromancers. At this point, he realizes that Wu Qing's entrance is sealed, which is a problem, as he had intended to go through those tunnels to reach the imperial palace. Suddenly, Wang Chao appears and Danzi prepares to attack, as he doesn't recognize the old man. However, when Wang Chao introduces himself, the dragon remembers that he is Lu Yu's dragon keeper and is happy to meet his old friend again. Knowing that the dragon will risk being captured if he enters the palace, the old man says that he will help Ping infiltrate to retrieve Kai's egg. As she walks through the tunnels, the young woman asks Wang Chao for help in learning to control her Shi, as the old man is much more experienced than she is. However, he says that this will be a very risky task, as that ancient city is very sensitive to any kind of energy. According to Wang Chao, if too much power is released, they could end up awakening the ancient spirits that live there, so Ping needs to be very careful. In her first lesson, the young girl has to use her Shi to get the fireflies scattered around the temple into her basket. However, while learning to control her power, Ping ends up activating a statue of the necromancers and the old man gets scared. To avoid waking the enemy spirits, Wang Chao runs to the boat and asks the girl to accompany him. While they are rowing to the entrance of the palace, Danzi decides to attack the guards protecting the city. Thanks to his ability to control water, the dragon manages to defeat all the soldiers at once and invades Chang'an. His next mission is to reach the castle without being hit by arrows, but Danzi knows that this is an almost impossible task. So, to protect itself, the creature uses its powers to create a shield and manages to get past the guards. When she reaches the main hall, Ping hears Captain Quan informing the Emperor of Danzi's arrival and realizes that her friend is in danger. Despite being extremely strong and powerful, the dragon is not capable of defeating all those guards on its own. At this point, 
Ping realizes that she needs to act urgently and uses her powers to take down the soldiers protecting the emperor. With the help of Hua Hua, the young girl manages to retrieve the egg and climb the curtains to reach the roof before new guards appear to capture her. Then the young woman starts screaming to get Danzi's attention and pretends to have been hit by an arrow. Seeing the wounded young woman, Quan orders his men to halt their attack and the dragon has a chance to escape. Before leaving, Ping leaves her basket behind in an attempt to confuse the guards. While the soldiers try to retrieve the pearl, she escapes with the real egg. When he manages to get the basket back, Quan realizes that he has been tricked, as it is full of fireflies. At that moment, Ping is taken by surprise by one of the guards and, during the duel, ends up dropping the egg on the ground. In an attempt to ward off the attack, Ping uses her powers to paralyze her enemy. Soon after, she discovers that Peng, the emperor's son, has captured Kai and must strike him down to get the egg back. When he sees the girl running away, the boy smears mud on her feet so that he can follow her footsteps and asks for the captain's help to find her. After retrieving the egg, Ping goes to meet Mr. Wang Chao and asks for his help to take Kai out of the city. However, when the young woman arrives at the wooden bridge, she discovers that Diao is there waiting for her. Seeing his master, Wang Chao begs him not to hurt the girl, but the man sends his poisonous spiders to bite her. While the girl is being poisoned, Diao steals the egg so that Kai doesn't have a chance to cure her. However, before following his master, the old man pours a drop of water that he has collected from the lake of life into the girl's mouth and gets into the boat. While Wang Chao paddles away, Hua Hua tries to wake Ping up and suddenly a poison bubble comes out of her mouth. When she wakes up, she prepares to go after Kai, but is stopped by Captain Quan, who threatens her with his arrow. Upon arriving at the temple, Diao begins his healing ritual and intends to use the powers of the Pearl of Longevity to become immortal. Now that he no longer needs Wang Chao's help, he decides to get rid of him and sends his wasps to eliminate him. While his servant is being attacked by the insects, Diao enters a dome to receive all the power that will be drained from the egg. Just then, Ping and Quan arrive at the abandoned town and the girl asks her pet mouse to go and call Danzi to help her. Attracted by the energy emanating from the place, Ping and Quan manage to find Diao, but are attacked by the wasps. In an attempt to fend off the insects, Ping uses her Shi to ward them off and ends up throwing the captain away. She then finds Wang Chao's body wrapped in countless cobwebs and thinks he has perished. However, before his organs were paralyzed by the poison, the old man drank the water of life and, thanks to this, managed to expel all the toxin from his system. Meanwhile, Hua Hua finally manages to find the dragon and asks for his help to save Ping. When he finds out that the girl is in danger, Danzi uses all his energy to break down the gate and get to the city. After surviving the attack, the old man realizes that it's too late, as Diao has already managed to turn on the camera. While trying to enter to capture the traitor, Quan has his Shi drained and is saved by the people he considered his enemies. Despite losing all the pigmentation in his hair, the soldier manages to survive and Ping decides to enter the chamber to save Kai, even though it will cost her her life. However, before the young woman could continue her mission, Wang Chao decided to take a chance on her and used his Shi to lure the egg out of the chamber. Luckily, he manages to complete his mission successfully, but he has to pay a high price because all his vital energy has been sucked out. After the old man's body dematerializes, the place starts to fall apart, so Quan helps Ping escape. After the collapse, all the Shi that was concentrated inside the chamber spreads throughout the ruined city and the ancient spirits are released. Suddenly, an army of necromancers begins to form and Diao joins them. Now the monster has a new appearance that is even more frightening than before. Discovering that he has gained a pair of horns and a scaly body, Diao thanks his enemies for having interfered with his transformation process, as he is now even more powerful than he imagined he could become. When she sees the creature approaching to capture the pearl, Ping gives the egg to Quan and asks him to take it to a safe place. She then uses her powers to keep Diao as far away as possible and knocks down one of the pillars on top of him. When the monster breaks free, Ping tries to trap it with her Shi and, meanwhile, Quan has to fight the necromancers to protect Kai. While trying to run away to find the captain, the girl ends up being surrounded by the monster and is about to be devoured by it when Danzi appears to protect her. During the battle, the dragon orders Ping to flee, but the young woman refuses to leave her friend behind and tries to help him. However, in an attempt to eliminate his opponent, Danzi ends up falling into a pit along with a huge metal sphere. When the war seemed to be lost, soldiers from Quan's army arrived to help their captain in the battle against the necromancers and Ping helped Danzi out of the pit. However, soon after, Diao also arrives on the surface and Danzi attacks him so that Ping can continue with the plan. However, instead of continuing her mission, 
The young woman runs into the dragon and asks him to unite their powers to defeat the enemy. When bombarded by a huge amount of she, the monster begins to absorb all that energy and becomes too big to fit inside the cave. Then, when Diao can no longer move, the trio take the opportunity to flee and the creature explodes. At that moment, all the she he has accumulated begins to dissipate and eliminates the necromancers. After the battle, Quan returns the egg to Ping and, with Danzi's help, the girl takes Kai to the magical lake in the Dragon Kingdom. As he is very weak after the battle, Danzi is unable to land and ends up falling on the sandy beach. At that moment, he asks Ping to take the egg to the river inside a cave and the young woman has the privilege of witnessing Kai's birth. After being born, the little one hugs her and runs to meet his father. Looking up at the sky, Ping realizes that a storm is brewing, which means that Danzi is about to perish. At that moment, the young woman remembers the water of life that can heal any wound. But the dragon says that this lake is on the other side of the ocean. Knowing that Danzi won't be able to get there on his own, Ping decides to help him and uses her entire reservoir of Shi to lift her friend above the clouds, so that he has a chance of reaching the lake. As she does so, the girl becomes completely exhausted and faints. However, after a short rest, she gets up to fulfill the promise she made to herself and begins her journey back to the village to find her mother. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and turn a notification so you can watch more videos like this.